Now that we're men, we can do anything. Now that we're men, we are invincible. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Mike. It's your boy a a Aaron. We're back. History and lore. We finished season three. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Episode over. It was, it, you know, season three really took a toll on both of us. I think we were just telling our Patreon viewers we haven't been here recording in a month. In about a month. It's been a while, and I do think that it was needed. I do think the break allowed me to reflect a little bit more allowed me to get my bearings back the end of season three really fucked me up man i didn't show it as much as him i wasn't crying but i was thinking about that shit late at night every night for like a week it was fucked and not only did we see the red wedding the stark death not only did we see that but in that same day we also watched episode 10 where we got to see rob with his wolf attached to his head and we got to see Arya see that and my boy Theon or should I say Reek is out here dealing with some bullshit it's been you know I was excited to watch every episode and it's not that I'm not anymore but now I'm there's a little bit of a twinge of dread yeah in exactly. every little corner yeah that goes on in this show because there's forward. still a handful of characters that I cherish there's still a handful of characters that I really fucking love Peter Dinklage Sansa are you still crying the hound i love the hound now i fucking love the hound I feel like I, I feel like what's gonna come into season four is a very beautiful passive aggressive love father daughter type bonding relationship between the hound i and hope so. Arya. i i i, I hope because aria so. hates the hound but i don't think the hound hates aria no 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 he probably sees a lot of himself in her yep a girl a child that has been put through some bullshit but let's be real here. The power level type adjustments that were made at the end of season three were as follows. Daenerys conquered another place outside of Westeros. Doesn't give a fuck. Don't give. She hasn't taken an L really since her brother was alive. Number two mm. is Bran is now like a super powerful, like super Saiyan. Oh, Lord. yeah. He's Professor X, dude. He could just shut you down. <clears throat> I mean, Hodor is also an idiot. But he's going to train that ability. Yeah, but like, dude, like I like I said, he is now one of the only people that could shut down Khaleesi. In terms if, of, that's uh, what I mean, like the power. Yeah, if he hones that ability, he, like fuck the dragons, he could have Khaleesi just jump off a fucking bridge, right? Yeah. <sighs> going into season four, there's a lot I'm excited for. I do think Walder Frey is going to get fucked. Fucked. I think he's going to get smacked up so bad, and it's going to be Tywin's fault. I think Tywin is like doing all this and then feeding into his delusion of thinking that he's like got a spot at his table. But in reality, when push comes to shove, Tywin's going to be like, dude, fuck you, bro. And I'm already looking at the screen, and I'm seeing that the first thing you're going to talk about is Robert's Rebellion. Are they referring to Rob, King Robert, or are they referring to Rob Stark? Hmm. Oh my god! Like right off the rip. Ah, oh, that's so stressful. Like that's now what we're history. gonna go right into. Now it's history and lore. It's no longer oh, present. That hurts my soul. It hasn't fully sunk in yet. I mean, it has over the course of the month. I know they're dead. I've I've acknowledged that. That probably my favorite three episodes back to back to back. Like on the whole half of season three was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, from I would say about five or six. From the Baron Maiden Fair onward. Remember the Bear Maiden Fair? So three onward, pretty much. Was that three? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was like the third episode. I think that was five. That might have been five, six, or seven. That was definitely five, six, or seven. For sure. Because episode three was Khaleesi Don't Mess Around. I'm, th I'm looking through the thumbnails in my head. I don't know. It really hasn't sunk in yet. You know why? Because I haven't seen characters like Arya and Bran and even characters like Theon come to terms with the situation. And what it is now compared to what it was in season three. Yeah. Or before that. Yeah. Or, like even all the things that led up to the things that caused them harm and separation. The theme, I think, of season three is separation. Mm. It's just complete and utter isolation from these Lannisters everything. got something else coming, man, because everybody else has been dealing with the bullshit. I, I already know. I already know. I feel it. I can feel it 
feel it oozing through the screen that the Lannisters, <laughs> my poor man Tyrion included, are going to get smoked. Smoked. Walder Frey is going to go first. I know that. I already know Tywin's going to... He's going to pish posh. He's going to be like, peace. Mm -hmm. He usually was a pawn to friggin' quell the rebellion in the north. Well, guys, it has been a long month. Yeah. There is a lot of hype. I'm... As we have gone through now, going into our third history and lore, there is a lot of beseeded emotion that will probably come from this one because of everything that happened during the Red Wedding. And as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join us on Patreon. Link in description for full-length reactions to this video and more. You can see the Red Wedding in its full entirety. Or you can see Aaron reenacting the Red Wedding in its in, full entirety. In... in a soup kitchen. All right, guys. Yeah, here we go. History and lore. History Season three and lore. is fun now. Which they wasted trying to replace their lost advantage. Incinerating their own palaces to hatch dragon eggs. What? Drinking wildfire to become dragons. What? And let's not forget the Mad King's favorite. Burning men alive so wow. he could pretend to be a dragon. We knew that. We knew the drinking wildfire, too. Kind of, but not to that extent, to want to be a dragon, that's wild. Like his father, Lord Stark, who answered Ares' summon to the capital. They earned their fates. But the younger son, Ned, what was his crime? That Ares ordered his death as well. Unlike men, families don't die when you lop off their head. At the very least, you should have pointed out that loyal and dutiful Ned was living with John Aaron. King Robert wisely chose order over vengeance. John Aaron wisely chose for Robert, but John Aaron died. Then Robert, then Ned. So ended their glorious revolution. Something's wrong with Baelish's voice in this recording. I think he lost his voice. Fire turns even the proudest oaks to ash, leaving newer roots space to climb. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, pause. So, what it seems like is is a lot of confusion was going on during Robert's Rebellion and that basically Varys and Peter Baelish basically just said, like, if they didn't let Ned go back to the north, if they didn't let Robert go, like, right and kill Rhaegar and then let him go back to wherever he went... The Targaryens would be the ones... Or not, uh, the Lannisters, I should say, yeah, would be the ones in the right. And yeah, I mean, they probably still would have overtaken the Dragon King, but it wouldn't have mattered. It would have it would have just been them instead of having Robert as the distraction. Well, that was cool. I guess it's kind of information we already knew. It was just seeing a different <coughs> perspective. I don't know why we're touching on the same stuff. Like I'm over this already. Yeah. Robert's Rebellion does not interest me anymore. It, it kind of doesn't because it's like now we just, they died. Like the other Starks are now dead. We want to know about. Yeah. You other, know. All this stuff. But all right. Mira Reed. Who the fuck is Mira Reed? Mud men. Pleasant names our fellow Norris oh! have for us. Mira's the little, not wildling chick, but she's the, the warg that's friends with Bran, the girl. Right? When the waters finally receded, they left the bogs and swamps we know today. Mm -hmm. Many of the first men decided to fight on, but my ancestors wisely chose to heed the children's power and advance no farther. See, so they lived in the woods. Where is this? Some sort of um, like foresty bog area, like kind of, I guess. But is this north of the wall or is this? If you're lucky enough to be armored, you'll only drown inside your own steel. Oh my God. Not, you get to meet what swims in that water. Serpents and monstrous lizard lions with teeth like daggers and never enough to eat. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. Don't worry. Only your horse will live long enough to feel their poisons burning through it. Oh my god. They will look at us on a map and see a stranglehold for the north. And they will forget that the sea itself once entered the neck. And not all of it you returned. Know what? We were talking about this a couple weeks ago. These two kids that are with Bran, Osha, I immediately didn't trust either of them. And we, we we only started trusting him 
because we saw him approach the wolf. And now we know he's a warg. So he could control wolves regardless, most likely, I think, if I'm, if I'm getting this whole warg thing right. But maybe he's not trustworthy. Maybe he doesn't have Bran's well, best now, interest at now heart. Now you have a little bit of background about where they're from. Uh, yeah, I already felt this before watching that. Yeah, I feel like as if though so, maybe Osha was right. So you think these black lizard people are going to get involved? Like he's going to take because they said it's above the north. Maybe it is all black magic shit that he's actually doing. Maybe he really is that three eyed raven. No, maybe that isn't a work thing. The three eyed raven. Maybe that's a thing that he planted in Bran's subconscious somehow. But, you think that Mira and the other war kid are going to take Bran? And Hodor to those black lizard people? Maybe. Because that's what it seems. That's what it's inferring that. I feel like maybe there's another motive that they have that isn't. Seeing Brand to safety. See, making sure Brand fulfills his whole vision quest, yeah. whatever. Just a thought, but that is a good thought. I, I, you know, why would they inform it? Wh- a- and you know, why would they put so much emphasis on Osha not trusting them and then Bran dismissing Osha? I don't know. Lamenting the lost empire, the descendants of old geese grew rich and fat. The doom fell on Valyria, and the Dothraki rose to pillage most of the continent at will. But gold-laden Astapor, Yunkai, and Marine continue as they have for thousands of years, untouched. For even the horse lords understand what the Giscari taught Valyria so long ago. What good are slaves? without slavers so now we see kind of what daenerys is trying to do by taking down these places because of their slave populations makes sense now we know why daenerys is going after these places despite just trying to survive to get to westeros her ploy is to take all these places take the resources yeah, she's not just stopping at westeros that's what that means that she's full world conquering yeah i think that's a good look i just hope she she's gonna there's gonna be a resistance i hope she makes nice with Arya. honestly if, if her and Arya become friends is lit all it's the lit. all the all the right all the rights are wrong so to speak yeah i mean if, if that's what ends up happening then we know that the starks are gonna be safe i, I don't even know how they would fucking bump bump paths so i just it see only them. comes down to daenerys conquering these lands Outside of Westeros to unify them to then come in and... Then nobody's going to... Fucking Stannis ain't stopping her. I feel like the witch bitch knows. About Daenerys. About Daenerys. She has to, right? That has to be the big end game here. I, I don't know. I'm throwing darts. I'm just throwing darts at a board. But, but it, I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm calling this for what it is. Daenerys is stopping at these places to gain the resources. Clearly, as we're seeing in the show. But there's a reason why young Kai was one of the big spots in Slaver's Bay of the population. And now we're going to learn about the Unsullied. This is the Unsullied right here. Under the great Karl Temu, they sacked and burnt every town and city in their path. No army could stand against them. The great Karl Aaron. Yet the next day, Karl Temu woke to find, before the gates, 3,000 eunuchs in formation. Armed with only spears, shields, and spiked helms, <laughs> the Unsullied had slipped past the Kull's army in the night while the Dothraki feasted. Three thousand of them slipped past the army in the night. <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck? And eighteen times the Unsullied locked their shields, lowered their spears, and held the line against twenty thousand Dothraki screamers. Three thousand against twenty. Holy shit. To a man, the unsullied fight only to obey. With the right master over them, imagine how the forces of chaos would break against their shields. The conquerors, the madmen, the usurpers. And Daenerys has him now. So that you know it's just crazy because it's not only does she have them. She has three dragons that are growing by the episode. They're going to be like full grown by like the fifth season five. Yeah. yeah. At, at, at the most, I think by season four, they'll be full grown. Depends on how much time it has. But I think it's going to be a big time skip. I was thinking about it. Yeah. With all the shit that happened at the end. Too of much. Three. Too much was yeah. going down at once for them. But not that's to... that. That once again, that adjusts the power levels. Because now you see that Daenerys has now got one major city in Slaver's Bay left to pillage and take. 
without yeah, having it. to it's be. Just one that's more. it. She had got Aquaphor. Aquaphor. Aquafina. Aquafina. She got Young Kai. That's fucking crazy. And now she just needs the last place. And she is Karth. And she's gonna roll up to Westeros. It's like Monopoly, if you really think about it. Yeah, she got Boardwalk. She got New York Ave. Yeah. But who's gonna drop out of the game and try to trade their friend properties? <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. <laughs> Definitely not Stannis. Definitely not Joffrey. Probably Tywin. Yeah, most likely. That seems about the right. He's probably going to look to save his own skin at some point. Tywin's the only person smart enough to deal with her. In my eyes, Tywin is the only person we've been introduced to in this show that could actually come up with a plan to deal with this bitch. Yeah, 100%. But the magic of the children began to emerge in men. Maybe one child in a thousand would be born a warg. Mm. Fewer still would be born with the sight. Old man would not speak of it. Maester Lewin never believed in it. Yeah. But with it, the children could know of events far away and even those still to come. So Some say what? the sight was the children's most powerful and terrible secret and helped turn the tide during the long night. Wait a minute. They can see events before they happen? Yeah, Bran saw Ned's death. I know that, but like... Bro, before it happened. But... The implications of that are wild. Yeah, they they have the sight. They could. That's so Raven. But like, like wait a minute. The breeze. But is that means freeze. he can see like people's plays. Potentially, yeah. Bran is Od strong. I'm telling you, if anybody can take out Khaleesi solo, it's Bran. Not that I want Daenerys dying. I want her to win this shit. Nah, I mean, but I'm just saying, like, once again, goes back to power levels. I knew that he saw Ned's death, but I figured it was just a dream. I didn't think he was a warg yet. Bro, he saw Theon take over Winterfell. He saw the waves crash over the walls, remember? Wow. Yeah. He's like that. It's like that. He's really, like, awesome shit. Nobody could touch him. If he was powerful and, and mastered his craft, he would be able to, like, really... Mastered his craft. <laughs> How can you tell if the man is wearing the beast or the beast is wearing the man? I don't like scary stories anymore because I'm in one. I knew he was going to say that. The Lannisters swindled their enemies, the Storm Kings hammered them, and the Starks cut off their heads. In such company as this, were the Boltons really so indelicate? Wait a minute. Oh my god. Unlike some other houses, my ancestors own the Bolton words. Our blades are sharp. Who do we know that. Who do we know? Honed and thin enough to fit between the topmost layer of skin and the tissue below. Oh my god, that's the and knife. Oh, I don't even want to say it. That's the knife that. In those dark days, they say that some of my more willful forebearers would even wear their enemies' skins as cloaks. But no such tokens remain, if they ever existed. They existed. I hope that's not foreshadowing. It is. I, I pray to God Theon doesn't get skinned alive, bro. He's dealt with too much. After years of war, my ancestors gave up their barbaric practices and bent the knee to their new kings. Thus has Bolton became what we are today. Loyal bannermen and staunch ally to the Starks. And the second greatest house in the North. What a fucking... So there's more motivation than guard. just Tywin sending the letter. He was jealous of Ned. Jealous of the Starks. The, the second, second best. best, yeah. So there was more personal jealousy afoot here. And that's why the, why the Red Wedding really does hurt. It shows you that the... The Boltons are sick too. That just goes to show how sick, it, like how sick they are. This shit goes back years and years and years, years and years. And now Roos it just killed people that he was sworn to protect, sworn to serve. And meanwhile, his son is out here chopping off dicks. All these moths are gonna get clapped next season. I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna happen. I, I'm hyped for him to get clapped. All of them, because he's a dick. But they forbade the union. 
At their wedding, the gods unleash their might, pulling down his hold and killing all of Durin's family and guests. Damn, all because he loved the mermaid, huh? They took the trident from the River Kings and built an empire that stretched as far as the neck. But then the Ironborn swarmed out of their islands and pushed the Storm Kings out of the Riverlands. No doubt the Ironborn intended to expand their empire into the Stormlands. Before they had a chance, Aegon Targaryen landed with his dragon. Mm. He realized the dream of all the Stormlords before him, to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Then Robert died, and his brother Stannis killed their other brother, the noble King Renly, with black magic. Now the Stormlands again live up to their name. R.I.P. Renly. Renly could have saved us. If only I could have saved him. Nah, I don't think But Renly I will was teach Stannis shit. a lesson he should have learnt growing up in the Stormlands. As lightning gives way to thunder, so too must murder lead to vengeance. Now remember, bro. Remember. Renly was gonna clap Stannis. You really think so? Yes. If, if Stannis didn't have that black magic bullshit, Renly won. Renly all the, the arms alone. Because re remember, half of Stanny Stannis' army was initially Renly's army. True. Everybody was on Renly's side because Renly was more likable. Yeah, Stannis but I is a feel dick. like I feel like Renly wouldn't have been able to go against what Tywin. Yeah, I don't think that that would end it as well. That's why I heavily think that it's all for naught in the sense that the Baratheons really don't have much. Unless if this Lord of Light shit turns out to be like on um, power level wise equal to the Warg shit and equal to Daenerys shit, because that would be crazy. A third, and then you add the White Walkers too. Yeah, well, I think the White Walkers have the most power level right now, aside from Daenerys. They're the biggest problem because as powerful as Brand could be, he hasn't reached that full potential. He's a child who has no control over this. He was able to subdue Hodor, who's he's a Hodor. 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 Wisely, the Vale stayed out of all the ensuing chaos. Its crops did not burn or wither in the fields from lack of men to tend them. Its strength was not drained by forced marches to futile skirmishes. In the Vale, life proceeds as it always has. Calm, proud. A world of high honor undisturbed by armies and men of low birth, but high ambition. Impregnable. What I'm noticing, ooh, the North, Jon yeah, Snow. No, I'm excited for that one. What, what I'm noticing a lot about this uh, history and lore is that it's starting to connect with current events. Oh, w significantly more. Which is something that the other two really didn't do at all, pretty much. Um, they stuck to like textbook to, history almost. Yeah, yeah, things that happened 100 years ago and that's it. But now we're starting to see these characters talk about things that happened and how they affected things that are happening now. And comparing things that happen to things that happen now i Tyrion recruiting those oh the, the, the yeah, barbarian but, but people by saving cat getting to the veil uniting the hill tribes yeah all that that chain of events he's referring to yeah Tyrion lore yeah i want to start season four episode one you know what i mean but the north remembers why we are there and if we fall the south will get a very harsh very cold reminder. Love you, John, but we kind of already knew that stuff. He's going to be fucking livid when he gets back. Dude. I know, dude. He doesn't know nothing. He's going to be livid. Think about how mad he was when he found out about Ned. He was. He's furious. He tried to run away. Now imagine how mad he's going to be when he finds out about Rob. Oh. His fucking brother. Fuck Cat, he's not going to care about Cat. But after Still a about thousand the years, their line was Funny exhausted and Kat. fell to the Storm Kings, who fell to the Ironborn. I suppose after years of There's no way, there's 0% chance we're supposed to be able to follow what the fuck is going on. I can't. You can't? No. There's no way that people watch this one time and they're like, oh, now I know exactly what happened. Because I... I'm trying. I know the basics. I know Westeros 101, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Took my classes, did my research. But YouTube, everybody in the comments, question. Is there a Robert's Rebellion timeline video where we could see like exactly what happened in a visual format? 
of like this happened and then this battle led to this and then this happened and then that happened and then finally the throne like is there a video that exists that's not probably an hour long and filled with over voices of like the same information over and over again i mean it was cool when it was different perspectives but now they're just repeating the same information uh, and then we get a like, little bit of new information every other one which is cool which but is it's cool like, but like dude like you only can care so much about the per- the the, the perspective shit that happened of the in the same past thing. about Robert. Robert Robert's dead. Robert's so dead. He is not even remotely relevant in the eyes you of know? the show anymore. And I get that's not what the point of this is. The point of this is to show the battle lines between like Bolton and the Lannisters. But the Targaryens are relevant as fuck to me. I don't care about the Targaryens or the Mad King. None of that shit matters because, as far as I'm concerned, the Khaleesi's Daenerys is gonna, out in the West. She's fucking gonna, trying she's to pull up and rock it anyway. It doesn't matter. Who cares about history? It's not going to repeat itself. If there's a video that we could react to that shows us, like, that will actually teach us what the fuck is going on, then I won't confuse the fuck out of me. Please post it in the comments below or let me know what it is, and we will react to it. Thanks. This has been a public service announcement. Bust reacts. Plowing all previous fights. Oh, I want to see fucking dragons. Robert was a great soldier and a horrible king. Drinking and whoring are their own brand of madness when you sit on a throne that everybody wants. That's pretty true. That was valid. He said drinking and whoring are their own brand of madness when you're sitting on a throne that everyone's fiending to be on. True. <laughs> it's valid. I mean, that's, you know. He wasn't doing jack shit and everybody else was like, what the fuck? And now he left fucking Joffrey. It's like, what the fuck? You what was the point up. of you sitting there? <laughs> Nothing. Taking up space to be fat and drink That's a lot in the That's valid. Should have just let Ned take the fucking throne or Jamie for that. Because now we know Jamie's not a complete piece of shit. No, just Tywin's a complete piece of shit. Yeah. But the very day the last stone was laid in Harren Hall, Aegon Targaryen landed in Westeros. As soon as he saw Aegon's host on the horizon... The problem with huge castles is they blind you to what's outside. Holy size. shit. Thus, every Tully child is taught family, duty, honor. honor. The Tully words. My brother is dead now, and my nephew Edmure rules in River Run. God's help us. That's the little titty sucker? No. That's the guy who married um Felch's daughter oh ah he's dead yeah he's dead as fuck <laughs> probably <laughs> he's gotta be there's no way oh unless we see him do some dope shit at the beginning of season four house hightower who were kings before the andals came their seat is the oldest city in westeros they call it old town yeah i'm down let's take a tri- uh, vacation to old town real quick <laughs> I'm gonna tap my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride my dragon. When they were done, they built high curtain walls, deep moats, and heavy gates to protect the approaches, and put up squat, ugly, formidable keeps on either bank. The twins, commanding both road and river with arrow slits, murder holes, and portcullises. The twins ensure that no one crosses without begging the Frey's leave and paying the Frey's toll. The plan worked. The family grew rich. So he's a troll toll? Yeah. He's the grumpy old troll. Who killed the Starks? The current lord, Walder Frey, Fuck you. has seen over 90 name days and sired near as many children, shrewborn or otherwise. To buy the respect they've always wanted, but refused to earn. No, not even Lord Waldo could be so disloyal. Yes, the fuck he could. Wow. That was the best one. Couldn't we have just watched that? Yeah. Because that's the only one I give a shit about. There was, there's been a couple of nah, I know, tidbits. I know, I know. Of... I'm just building off of the fact that history and lore for the most part is... Uh, it's it's just know. like, you know, I much. keep coming back to it thinking that it's going to get better. I'm like, no, but there's a lot we got to learn this time. This will be great. There's yeah. a lot of information. That was the, the only thing that really, you know, I and cared about because yeah. it was so shrouded in mystery. He's such a dick. He's such a prick. 
Uh, I think a Walder Frey t-shirt might be. Uh, nah, we got to get the Joffrey t-shirt first. Uh, no. Fuck Joffrey. Coming soon. Jeremy. Draper. The Westerlands are all the Westerlands. <laughs> he kind of sounds like the Grinch. He ruined the Stark's Christmas. I'm, you know what's fucked up? I'm less mad at him. And more mad at Walder Frey. That I am a world of Walder Frey. Like, I should be mad at Tywin, but I understand Tywin's perspective more than I do Walder Frey's. I think that's what it comes down to, is that, like, Tywin had moves to be made. Walder Frey didn't have to make that move. He's just a pussy who hides in his walls. Apparently, these days, a younger <laughs> pain also serves my degenerate son, Tyrion. House Wait, Lever, what did he guards say? Yeah, it's Bran. Bron is a pain? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Bron if Bron is a pain, does that mean he's related to Sir Ellen Payne? Ellen Payne? Yes. Why didn't we know that? I don't know, because history and lore is telling us. I guess. That's fair. <laughs> Oh, God. Can we just end it here? Mm -mm. <laughs> fucking Joffrey. When the Builders finally finished the Red Keep, Mago executed them all to keep its secrets safe. Rumor has it, miles of hidden passageways... Which is funny because that's walls. basically the plot, recent plot line of Andor. Spoiler alert. They're building the Death Star, and they're starting to kill everybody in the jail because they don't want them to know. Mm. They don't want the galaxy to know. Private. Better to punish your enemies where everyone can see and remember. Like that Targaryen who forced his nephew to watch as he fed the boy's traitor mother to a dragon. <laughs> oh, what I could do with a dragon. Mm -mm. He ain't getting one. Yeah, bet. Not happening. When I sit on the Iron Throne. High in the red keep, all of Westeros scuttles below me, like insects, waiting for my heel to land. And this is why we want Joffrey to die. Last one. Ooh. Ooh. This Boris. is the one I was waiting yeah. for. This I is the one I... I'm youngest of eight in Mere. According to prophecy, our champion will be reborn. To wake dragons from stone and reforge Stannis. the great sword lightbringer that defeated the darkness those thousands of years ago. They think it's Stannis, but it might if not be. If the old be. tales are true, our lord does not answer. Imagine a night that goes on forever. So dark and full of terrors. I think I need another drink. So, basically what I'm gathering from that is, is that the Lord of Light is like Jesus. He's good? Like I'm, I'm guessing he's good, yeah, right? Because they said there's, there's a line in the sand. He's on the good side. The the yin and yang. He's on the white side versus the. Apparently, that's what we just learned. But I don't know how accurate that is. Yeah, that last one was very still aloof. Like we still don't have a name of what it is. We just know it is a, belev a benevolent force that is fighting against the White Walkers, and they have like an ever. Lying battle. Oops, sorry. But is it the White Walkers? Yeah, dude, of, of ice. And then they cut away to the to the north. It's the Walkers, dude. We just don't have a name of their god either. We just know he's a god of darkness and ice and pain. And How sure are we that they're evil? The Walkers? Yeah. Maybe they're not. You You might be completely right in that assumption. Maybe they're just misunderstood. And there's some... Like we don't Breaking know their the chain. You know? We don't know what they're... No, we don't know what they're doing, no. But we just learned a lot in the sense that now there's kind of a conflict between the two sides, which is why it's so important. Well, at least history and lore ended with some informative current stuff. We learned about Walder Frey. Makes you hate him even more. Now that you know he's a prick who hides in his fucking walls and doesn't do anything. Yeah, and that's what they've been doing forever, apparently. We know that Daenerys' play is to unite those other slave bay, slaver bay um, kingdoms. We, we know Bolton. No, Bolton comes from a line of fucking... Skin takers. Sick fucks. And eunuch makers. And uh, young Bolton, I forget his name, the guy torturing Theon, is just the latest in a long line of fucking nut jobs. <sighs> But overall, history and lore is still boring. Yeah, uh, yes, but 
I did just walk away with more information than I went in here with. Which means that it ended well. Yeah, you know, and on a high note. So we're going to continue to do it, and next time we're going to have food, because I needed that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm fucking hyped for season four. Yeah. Holy shit. Because now at least we know that, like, Joffrey has it coming. There's a crazy war between the Walkers and these Lord of Light people coming. Daenerys is unifying the forces. Arya's all alone. The Starks are basically dead. We don't know where Bran's going with the Warg children and House Reed. We don't know if the Warg children can be can be trusted. They very well can't be. We don't know how any of this is going to go down. But we know it's going to go down. But we know it's going fucking down. There's a couple people I have a list. Same way Arya does. Same way Tyrion does. I got a list of motherfuckers ready to die. Tyrion's got a list? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, in episode 10, I don't know if you remember, I was just editing it, so I, it's in my head. But he uh, he has a list of people who make fun of him for being a dwarf. And his dad's on the list? I don't remember, but he doesn't plan on killing the people on his list. He just wants to... Uh, Let him know. Get back at them somewhere or some sort. Mm. Well, I'm sure Joffrey's on that list. Well, anyway, guys. As was, per usual. That was fucking dope. Yep. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Join us on Patreon for full-length reactions and more, including uh, the full-length reactions to Season 4. Coming right around the corner. Because we got loot back. Because now we have loot back. And now we're lit. Shit's lit. So, we'll see you Um, next time, guys. I'll do a little dance. Make a little love. Uh, Peace. Peace.